Hello. Let's model this trammel of Archimedes with a Fusion 360 and animate it, right? So let me get that over here. All right, let's start with a sketch on the top plane. With a center rectangle, the origin, make those two sides equal. Dimension 122. Exit the sketch, go into extrude, and make a new component with 18 millimeters. thickness. Apply some other appearance and start a new sketch on the top face. Again, send a rectangle here to the edge, another one over here. Make those two edges equal, give them a dimension 22, exit that sketch, go into extrude, pick those five regions here, cutting minus eight millimeters inside. All right. So let's call that here, rename component here, base. All right. Start another sketch on that face. Another center rectangle at the origin. Make that Point here coincident and give that a dimension 44 millimeters. Exit that sketch, go into extrude, pick that region, extend type. We can just pick that face, make that another component. All right, and give that some. Um, other appearance and create a sketch on top of it with a circle here. Make that coincident with the origin and give it a dimension of 12 millimeters, finish that and extrude that, circle some six millimeters. Okay, call that component a uh, slider. All right, so, um, now we press J for joint and hide the base, go here at the bottom and hide the slider and go at that origin and make that a slider joint, but we will use the X axis. All right. So that component here, okay, let's ground the base in its position. And all right, so that, that is the movement we 
we want to capture. All right, now with M, I can copy our component here, selecting it, create a copy, and we want to rotate that around the Z axis, 90 degrees. And the distance here is 61, right? 122 divided by 2. So that is um, 61 in the X direction, 61. OK. So let's define the joint of that one, pressing J. Go into the bottom here, origin, and picking that origin again. And now that'll be sliding um, slider on the Y axis. All right, accept that. And now let's go to joints. Um, um, and pick the home position. Go to home position here. All right, let's edit the joint number two, slider two, edit joint, and apply an offset of those 61 millimeters. So that'll be its home position. Okay, so we get that positioned right at the origin and that one in the y-axis 61. Now let's start a new sketch on that plane. We press P to project that edge and that edge. Press O to offset that one three millimeters. Again, that one as well, three millimeters. And um, place a center rectangle with that at its origin and I'll draw over here and then position it. Um, coincident, that edge with that origin and that edge with our circle. And then draw for the handle one circle over here. And place a couple of, well, three tangent relationships here, here, and here. Finish that sketch. Then go into Extrude. Pick that region, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And distance, we can Take that face, make that a component. I think we, well, I forgot that profile here. OK, accept that. Let's keep that sketch visible and make another extrude or that one. That'll be joining that body and make that 22. All right, let's see. OK, hide that sketch. Press J for joint. Hover over here. Take that um, joint position. Take that one. That's OK, but make that a uh, Revolute joint. Accept that. 
See, okay, that's still free to go there. Press J. Um, hover over here. Take that one. Take that one. Again, Revolute. Yeah, that's okay. So now we have those two. I'm doing that movement with my mouse. But now let's go into Revolute and go to Animate Joint Relationships. And there you have it. The Trammel of Archimedes. So we did some part modeling, some component definition, some joint definition, slider joint, revolute joint, and we animated it. I hope you like that.